Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Where we hold some bitcoins, and I'm from Bitcoin Generation X. Today, recording a video inside because there's too much noise outside. A short TA video, really cool charts. I think four of them that you really need to see, and of course, giving you an update on what Bitcoin is doing at the moment. Let's quickly jump in to the chart. The first one is. This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail I've been running so long That my feet don't work no more Oh, yeah I've been running so long that I shared it with you guys yesterday um, I told you yesterday, if this is an ABC connection, this will, uh, correction this is on the one hour chart then we probably get an elliott wave like one two one two three four five so we are currently in that third wave and the third wave should go up uh, can also go up to 45 or like 40 40 even here 44 900 and then pull back to this line over there to test that support and then we get the fifth wave up that is still on track. I told you yesterday it's not going to be an exact date. It can also go a little bit more like this, or a little bit more like this, you know, or like this. But this is like the fifth wave on the Elliott that should be um, moving, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the next chart. So this is all on track. BAM here is on the Oryx platform. Let's see if the BAM was doing fine. <clears throat> this is a four hour chart. Look, that was a beautiful short call with a candle closing down below the yellow stepping line and the bam bam was crossing over there. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger so you can exactly see what happened. Oop, okay, and this one needs to go up a little bit now, like that. And here you can see the red line on top, the orange in the middle, the green on the bottom, a red dot and the yellow starting. This is like a one, two, three, four. Uh, four confirmations that you need to take that short so if we then take a look at that short that you could have taken um, and measure that let's take it late from that moment and let's exit uh, somewhere here <coughs> when the first green camel comes or the long flag there will be a 12 percent short the other way around guys now a long flag closing a candle above it bam bam crossing again over there we get green in so at the moment we would be in a long from let's take it late 2.2 uh, percent on the four hour chart so that's uh, uh without leverage of course with leverage um, that is insane amounts of profits on uh, a day and if you want to trade all of that guys then please use the referral links down below the videos because you will get some bonuses um Learn how to here, hair oh my god, yeah, if you have not enough hair, you need to go to that one. Um, but here you see Pmax has a $1,200 bonus. Prime XBT has a 50% deposit bonus, two bitcoins. If you deposit two bitcoins, you get one bitcoin free to trade. Bybit has a huge bonus at the moment, and Binance doesn't have a bonus, but it's a good spot trading exchange. So please use these links down below um, the videos. Let's jump into the next chart. Are we going to show? Yeah, this one, bam the Gaussian channel uh, talking about this one already a long time we didn't break it I told you we could even pull back to that midline we exactly did pull back to that midline and uh, we are above it now and we need to go up again to try to break this does this Gaussian channel also work on other time frames because I'm always looking at the five day um yes because i saw this on crypto crew university and i really found it interesting to look at the five day chart but if you look at the one day chart for example it is also working and look what we just did we just found support on that bottom line and we need to go up now to the top line again the 48k here for example we found support you know this is the move that everybody is talking about like one two three four and then dip and then from the dip we came above that midline again and then we had a huge correction so one two three four we had the dip here to the midline we came above and now we had a huge correction and now we should be going up again so let's see if that gaussian channel on the one day also works but for me the five day is like 
the one that I always keep an eye on. Let's go into the next chart. Bam. <coughs> ah, the chart that I also posted again on Twitter. Um, for me, a very important chart. In my opinion, this is just a bull run like all the others. It's an average one if we look, if we compare them to 2013 and 2017. Um, yes, September was a red candle in 2013. Yes, September was a red candle in 2017. Yes, at the moment, September 2021, um, September is a red candle. After that, we had a 2013 explosion growth. In 2017, an explosion growth. And here I expect October, November, December also a huge growth, just like all the models are predicting. Uh, but again, it is Bitcoin. You never know if this already was the top and if you're making a bear trap. But if it's up to me, it looks like a combination of the 2013 mid year move, July, September 17. This is exactly, I think, the mid. Um, bam, how cool is this? PSV Eindhoven. That is the club I always supported, um, has now added Bitcoin to their balance sheet. I think it is because of their uh, sponsorship of any coin direct. Uh, so really cool. Congrats, PSV, finally uh, joining the Bitcoin family. Yeah. Do we have anything else? Yes, we have three more on a four more charts and we are going to jump into them right now. I need to check. Bam. Over here. This is the first chart. Um, this is a really cool chart because I want to know <clears throat> so where is all the volume coming from? Where are the people making um, the most profit at the moment? And if we look at this chart, we can see that Europe during the European trading times, the most profits are generated. It's an almost 294% of profits are generated during European trading times. During the North American trading times, second place, around 87% of the profit is generated. So Europe 1, North America 2, 3, then we get Asia. Um, Asian trading times, uh, we see almost no profit. We see a 14% loss. So this means that Europe trading times are the trading times you need to keep an eye on. And also cool to see is... Um, is this chart guys bam over here sorry my finger didn't snap a good <laughs> but this one is also very cool and um, this is where you can see which countries have the greatest sh share to trade with or united states or china or no data so with do most countries trade with united states or do most countries trade with china and if the most countries trade with china would they trade in the chinese yuan, yuan or in the us dollar so um, this is about which currency is the biggest at the moment. This was the 2000, 2000 situation. United States was ruling the world when it comes to trading and um, to using the dollar. At the mom moment, 2020, it looks completely different. China, Asia is ruling the world. So the most used currency, I would say, is that the Chinese yuan. So yes, that one is of an importance importance if something happens over there that can have influence on that small trading period of the United States. This is all the financial war that at the moment is going on, I think, between the United States and China. It is all about money and control, but that's another video maybe. Now let's quickly jump into the next chart. Bam! Over here. Um, really good chart again. Let's see where my face is. Oh my knee. Um, this chart shows you the Bitcoin new all-time high index. Um, at the moment, we are 2.2 times the previous all-time high. So the 20K times 2.2 is 43K. <clears throat> the last two times during the bull run peak, here you can see it, um, we were 17 times and 39 times. I hope you all see what I see. I'm clearly missing this last part of that bull run. <laughs> so I want to see that part. Okay, do we have some other cool charts? Yes, bam, another one of charts BTC. Um, let's see, now my face needs to be there. Oh my God, face, face shuffle. Um, here as well, you guys, the Bitcoin four year multiple here in the bottom. You can see, for example, 2013, 2014, we had a five times and a nine times here five times 
and then nine times, and then 2000, um, here, 2020, we had it 12 times, and we are now again back at 12 times. So the top should be higher, and that is exactly what the top graph is also telling us. We are missing something here. We are missing that top to the 100K, and then, yes, we will have a pullback. And then if we see that, then of course this one will be going higher as well. I'm not saying that we are going to go to 40, but if we look at the tops, um, then we can see that over here we went 125, 37 times to the top, 53 times, 58 times. So yeah, there is a lot of growth possibility now because we are at 12. So also really cool chart. Do I have any other chart? No, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment what do you think about these charts. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam!